Hey guys, it's Tyler, aka Show Me Fly Guy. Um, listen, I am sp I'm sharing something really special with you guys today. Um, this is a place that is near and dear to my heart. Um, we are on a farm pond in northwest Missouri. Um, for those of you who know about farm ponds, you know how good the fishing can be. For those of you who don't know what a farm pond is, it's what it sounds like. It's a pond on a farm, it's stocked with fish. Um, I, I know the landowners, they are super nice and been friends of our family for a long time. They don't fish this much and they actually laugh at me when they find out I catch fish and let them go. Uh, but anyway, they're, they're always gracious enough to let me come fish here. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We are fishing a farm pond in northwest Missouri. Conditions are not ideal. It rained for a good part of the day yesterday. Uh, we've had a cold, th cold front move in yesterday as well. So we're going to do what we can. Wendy is throwing a, who's behind the camera, that's why I pointed that way. Uh, she is throwing just a small uh, nymph and jig under a indicator and I'm throwing a two fly rig, two woolly buggers. Probably doing something wrong because they look identical. I, from what I understand, one should be one color, one should be the other. These are the same, I'll show them to you later. Um, we're gonna see if we can catch some fish and fingers crossed, I'm going for two fish on a tandem rig at the same time. So, one line, two fish. That's what we're gonna go for. Honestly, we'll take every, we'll take anything. Um, this, this pond has a lot of bass in it, a lot of bluegill, a lot of catfish. But like I said, we're, we're a little, uh, we're, you know, playing behind the eight ball just a little bit with uh, the idea that it's post front conditions. And, uh, but you fish when you get to, not when you want to sometimes. So here we go. Farm pond fishing, Northwest Missouri. Let's go. Folks, this is, this is, I know just an unassuming crappie, but I have never caught a crappie in this pond before. Ooh, I stuck him in the eye. So weird, didn't know there were crappie in here. Welcome to farm pond fishing. There you go. On the woolly bugger. Oh, by the way, I'm throwing two of these woolly buggers. This is quickly becoming my favorite. It's got the olive hackle, the white flash chenille, and then an olive tail with flash in the back. And I'm throwing that on a tandem rig. There you go. Improve clinch knot, improve clinch knot, triple palomar knot. Just kidding, that's an improved clinch knot. All right, there we go. Back to the fishing. Got a big 11 inch crappie here in the farm pond. Everything is CPR today, caught, photographed, released. Here we go. Oh my gosh! Holy cow! Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, <laughs> babe! Oh my god, you're switching flies. Yeah, you're going to you're going to the, the sparkle bugger. Oh my gosh, we have found the crappie. Yeah, there you go, there you go, babe. Oh, you got a good one. Oh no, that's all right. Well, we found him. We found him. Ain't nowhere to run. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Big farm pond crappie number two. Tw solid 12 inches. Not expecting this today. This is crazy. Funny story. Um, Wendy wanted to switch to the woolly bugger I was throwing, and I quickly realized I left all the flies on the bank. I was more concerned about video equipment than flies. So I'm no longer throwing a tandem rig, it's a one fly rig, and thankfully Wendy was able to use the same thing I'm throwing. <laughs> By the way, you can buy these on my Etsy store. <laughs> Three bucks a piece, and they're worth it. Golly! There you go. There you go. <laughs> like a shot from a gun. Wow! Good fish. They're fighters too. Okay. 
It's her first time fishing, folks. <laughs> Get out. Here's on the fly. Here you go. That was much better than the last time. On the bugger? Mm -hmm. On the bugger. Okay. He's got a good one. Keep it tight. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Good job. Oh, that's a big crappie. That's a big crappie. No, that's a that's crappie. <laughs> that's I'm an idiot. <laughs> Wanna grab it? It works on bass too. Good fish, man. Really? Yeah, really. Yeah, really. Really. You want to switch spots? You want to run the boat? Yeah. <laughs> You'd get us lost on a farm pond. Alright. Not a big one, but biggest bass of the day. On the bugger. Here we go. Here we go. Holy cow. <laughs> Get this. Oh my gosh, it gets bigger the closer it gets. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay. So, same fly we've been using all day. Oh. Right at 12 inches. 12 inch farm pond crappie. Shoulders on that dude. All right, we're gonna let him go. Right, here we go. Goodbye, crappie. Most people wouldn't do this, so don't forget about it. Oh, okay. Um, to say that this is a day that was unexpected would be a gross understatement. Uh, I was looking to coming out here and catching some 12 to 14, maybe a 15 inch large mouth. Um, we have boated probably five crappie that are 11 or 12 inches with the majority of those being 12. Um, I'd heard stories about there being crappie in this pond, but never caught one. And that was about a year ago. So not only are there crappie, there's good ones and they're, they're hard fighters. Usually I don't crappie fish because they're just kind of boring and they all look the same and they don't fight real hard. There's something about farm ponds that, like, they grow up tough. Like, tougher, because they have to be. Maybe. I don't know. It, it just sounds right. Like, farm tough? Maybe? Farm strong? Flex farm strong? Anyway, uh, yeah, not what I expected. We've regrouped. I'm throwing a tandem rig now. Uh, and I've realized I need to tie a lot more of this fly because they're all coming on the same going head woolly bugger. So, all right, we're going back out and uh, see what we can do. Good day, man. It's a good day. All right, biggest bass of the day. Pretty good one. Not a monster, not a wall hanger, but good one for today. Okay, running the tandem woolly bugger fly. Hit the front one. Every bass has hit the front one. It's like they're not going to wait for the second one to show up. 13, 14 inches, but good for today. So, again, we're running a two fly setup. Woolly bugger, white body, olive, everything else. And then the same thing back here. They're hitting this one every time. It's a good tactic for uh, fishing farm ponds and anywhere else that you know you're searching for bass or crappie. Whatever. Okay, interesting observation. Bluegill hit the back one. That's a pretty good bluegill too. Not bad. Put up a good fight. Bass hit the front. Bluegill hit the back. Maybe. I don't know. When he got a bluegill. So did I. It's a pretty good bluegill.
right at eight inches. Good fish. Oh, got him. This is not a bad fish. Back fly. Oh. And now to Wendy for the recap. No, I said you gotta warn me. That's not what I got in the video. <laughs> All right, we are done, folks. Um, little burnt. I got some like monkey claw cr hand cramps going on. Uh, wow, great day on a great Missouri farm pond. Uh, real quick gear review, and this gear review is brought to you by. A sponsor to be named later. If you'd like to sponsor the Show Me Fly Guy gear review, I'll literally take anything because I, I don't have anything. Anyway, all right. So, um, Wendy was throwing a Cortland uh, graphite nine foot uh, six weight. I've had this rod for about 20 years. You're not going to find this on the market. Uh, but we were throwing, uh, it's probably about six foot liter, and this is just straight 10 pound fluorocarbon. That was it. They're not line shy, so. We debated on whether to go six or ten, but eh, ten's better than six, right? You're not going to lose them as much. Uh, with a size six woolly bugger, we've talked about that a lot. Uh, for all the casting and all the fish that we've done, or all the fishing that we've done, never, like, it did not fall apart. It was in great shape all day. Oh, and I got to thank Wendy for my Reddington ID reel. It even has the website on there, showmeflyguy.blogspot.com, shameless plug. Uh, but yeah, so she made that that cover for me. There we go. Nine foot six weight. The other rod we were using today, and I love this rod, this is my Echo Base, which makes me laugh every time I say it, because that's where the beginning of Star Wars Empire Strikes Back was set. Echo Base is where they were on Hoth. Anyway, uh, so I got an Echo Base uh, rod, Echo Base reel. This was a six weight. Uh, I threw two conehead woolly buggers on here. Again, same woolly buggers that, that Wendy used. Um, I don't know, maybe 18 inches two feet ish from one fly to the other again just straight 10 pound fluorocarbon no tapered leaders no furled leaders no, nothing like that just straight fluoro um, with these cone heads and them having a little bit of lead in there they cast fine like I, i'm not trying to hit a trout on the nose from 40 feet away so i don't really use a lot of tapered leaders if i can get these in the ballpark of like structure and cover close enough i mean it's bass fishing it's not you know it's not rocket science or brain surgery so uh that's it um and it like i said it casts really well i could i could chuck these a long way never had a knot never had a tangle uh i i don't know why i don't run two woolly buggers at the same time ever like i should do that always um uh, but again you know I, I said at the beginning that we were going to come to a Missouri Farm Pond, and I was, I was proud to be here and glad to be here because not everybody has access to a fishery like this, and I'm, I'm definitely grateful and, and blessed to be able to do that. Um, yeah, other than that, thank you. Please like and subscribe. Send me any questions that you got. I'd be happy to answer those. Just put them in the comments below. And, yeah, see you next time on Show Me Fly Guy YouTube channel. Did I forget anything? <laughs>